While we might be eager to design and build our parkour course before we code, doing so would make programming and testing our game mechanics a little too complicated. Building before we code means having to successfully navigate our parkour course every single time we want to test our program. With that in mind, let's consider what we absolutely must have in order to successfully code and test our game. What we need is a starting area and an ending area. For the purposes of our code, we are going to make these two platforms out of specific blocks so our agent can detect when we are in the starting area and when we reach the goal. So let's create a simple testing environment. For our starting platform, we can place a 3x3 array of diamond blocks. And for our final platform, we can add a 3x3 array of gold blocks. We want to make sure there is enough space in between the two platforms so our code has time to run. Speaking of our code, we are going to program our agent to act as the referee, making sure the player starts in the right place, stays in the right game mode, checking when they reach the final platform, and giving the player a score. This means we are going to need a new MakeCode project. Let's open CodeBuilder. If you haven't chosen a coding platform already, be sure to select MakeCode from the list. Once in MakeCode, we want to click the large green plus sign to create a new project. When creating a new project, it is important to give it a name that we can associate with a specific project or action. If we just use the default new project every time, it will make things difficult to locate as we make more games. Let's name this project Parkour since that aligns with what we are creating. Now that we have set the stage for testing and have created a new MakeCode project, we can start to break down what we need our program to do in order to achieve our goals. In our next video, we will begin our code as we consider the step-by-step -step processes required to make our game a success.